Welcome back. In this lecture, let's work on T-Log Catcher. The component enables us to capture the error messages. I have an existing job. Let me run this job. the job got failed. The error message is the particular file already exists. In order to capture this error messages, we can use T-Log Catcher component. T-Log Catcher Let's print it in T-log row. If you see, we have date timestamp, PID, root PID, father PID, project name is ETL, job name is TLOG catcher, context is default, priority is 6, type is Java exception, origin is on which component there is a failure message. So it's T file output delimited component and the failure message over here. Finally, we have error code. We can also capture this error message in a file. Let's have T output delimited component. Let's define a path. I'll save it in logs. Let's say error underscore log dot log. So let's save this in a file. Run. So currently we don't have a file over here named error underscore log. Let's check now. File is generated. So we have the log captured in a file. Thank you. See you in the next lecture.